So hi, one of the Good Noise Podcasts with Cheyenne and Dan. We're going to ask them some questions today. I'm going to start. So what inspired you guys to start the band, and what does the band name mean? Jonah um, question. Yeah. Uh, what? Why did we start? We started the band just because I was sending around music, and we were all just, like, in the same college, and we wanted to, like, get something going because there wasn't a lot of, like, other bands, like, within our, like, school community. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was, like, the main reason we started. Uh, the name, it was just a name. I used it, like, before to release music, um, and I just, like, kind of thought it sounded good. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, just give just, them I don't know. I think that's the first time I've even heard that. That's cool. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, knew someone, I knew someone named Cheyenne, and they were, like, my coworker when I was in high school at Applebee's, and they were, like, really mean to me. Oh. And they weren't even, they were just like the same level as me. Um, but I always thought it was a cool name. I think that's kind of why I stuck with it. Okay. Okay. Right. Big, big, big Applebee's band. Big, yeah, we, we, we're a big Applebee's band. As you should. <laughs> of course. Okay. As soon as COVID's over, we're playing Applebee's. All right. Sick. All right. Looking forward you know, to that. Applebee's in the area. <laughs> All right. Applebee's tour. <laughs> Up and down Anyone? East Coast. Uh, so congrats on your newest release, Butterflies. How do you feel about the response to it so far? Um, it's it's pretty good. It's still going. So, you know, we'll see how, like, what happens in the next couple of weeks. Um, but, I mean, like, just, like, numbers-wise, it's, like, doing, like, better than, like, anything else we've released, which is always good. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like, everyone seems to like it. And, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, I've had a lot of people DMing me being like, congrats, this is the best Shine Dance song I've ever heard. And I'm just like, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> well, people really, like, reached out to me and told me how much they liked it a lot more than, like, other stuff that's been put out. So Lots of people reached out to me and they said it was really an awful song. Yeah. <laughs> so you're getting all the well, negative. So that never came up on their playlist. Yeah. Kind of thing. Um, I wish you guys kept one, this one in the drafts. I, I don't think no one... I think one person told me they liked it like the most. One person told me they liked it, but they liked like another song better. They're like, "Oh yeah, it's pretty good, but Happy Days is better." And I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> you, I guess could have left that part out." But... Yeah, could have left that part in the drafts. Yeah. Um, so, can you tell me a little bit about your writing process for this single? Um, this actually, I mean, it's I kind of like I wrote the chorus, and then um, I was trying to like fill out it took me a while to like fill out the other parts like i know i took it to um i took it to dylan once we were working on it one day we're trying to figure out yeah remember that you're sitting in the living room and john was like oh i had this song i had this chorus i don't know what to do for it and we we tried like working out some sort of chord progression for the verse or the bridge or something it it, it kind of fell flat but i was like oh i really like that chorus though yeah 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 and then i don't know it just kind of came together but uh yeah, when I was pretty the cool. chorus was there forever. Yeah, the chorus and it was just a matter of building a song around it, right? Because I remember yeah, yeah. we played, we did the we Rowan did. All acoustic thing. Yeah, and well, was that in December or something like that? Like you've so. had it for a while. I used to like play it, but I only had the chorus, so I'd like play <laughs> at like acoustic shows. I just play the chorus and nothing else. And... Wow. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. <laughs> um but yeah i don't know i I think like doing like i don't know like sometimes playing like unfinished tracks like helps. you know you get a response i don't know and you really flesh out that one part of the track yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah so where's your headspace while creating the single um well i mean because it like took like because it was like ran over a period of time i think and I think like one of like the like the themes like for me within it is that it's kind of like I wrote it in like two different head spaces. It's kind of like about two relationships, but mm-hmm. they're just like they're both bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, sometimes that's where like some of the best songs come out of because it's two different, very different perspectives, but with the same type of theme. I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like like the lyrical content of the song is definitely. Uh, I'd say more well fleshed out than some of the other stuff we put out, just because I think due to that like long time span where you add some lyrics and then you add, I don't know. Yeah, just, yeah. It's like a big stew. It's like you gotta add stuff in later yeah. to make it taste good. Jonah gets sad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Jonah get Jonah sad twice. 
he'll crush it. Yeah. This the next time's gonna be insane then. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought I was gonna stop writing like sad emo music, but it, I don't know. You just kept on being sad. And I didn't, emo. <laughs> didn't, didn't have to stop. All right. Sad. But, um, <laughs> So what band or artist influences do you think you can hear the most in your music? <laughs> I don't know. I'll speak for Jonah. I think Jonah writes songs that sound like Carsey Headrest that he loves. <laughs> right. It's not a bad thing. Carsey Headrest rolls. I love Carsey Headrest, too. I don't, yeah. No, no Carsey Headrest hate ever. I was going to say definitely, car, like, straight out of the gate, Carsey Headrest. Uh, I, I'd say if you listen to some of Jonah's deeper cuts, I hear a little bit of Post Malone in there. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> Yeah, we have some crazy. We have some. Am I allowed to? I'm not allowed to swear, right? Yeah. Yeah. You okay. Do. We have crazy stuff coming out, um, and it's it's gonna. I don't know, Colin. What 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 do you have to say about some of the other stuff we have coming out? We, we I have, have heard any of it. Yeah. Uh, I think oh. we've played. Oh my god. <laughs> it's it's insanity. That's what I think about. I think it's crazy. It sounds like um. It's kind of awesome. Sounds like Joji, like filthy prank. Joji, Joji. and <laughs> Joji and Gex. And oh, Gex. That's oh, an interesting no. combination. Yeah. Well, so my, my idea, like, work, so I have like this EP that's coming out, and then there's like another EP that I'm like working on that I only have like four songs for that are like all just like normal, and then I have like three songs that are just completely like out of the box, but like I want to like put them out, and I think they're gonna like they're gonna slap. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. So yeah, we're just, we're just gonna put that out, you know. Oh. Because I mean, I we've I mean we've done like other stuff. Like I guess like that was kind of like the reason for like heavy metal to come out. Cause that's like a really different song. But and that like the, everything on the EP I'm working on right now is it gonna sound like that? But I think like I'm gonna incorporate like sounds like that in the future. Okay. And I kind of okay. like to have that door open. All right makes sense so is there a certain feeling you want your listeners to have while going through your music i want them to be pumped i want yeah. this to be like music right. that they brush their hair to in the morning and like look in the mirror uh, yeah I, I agree i want people to be like super like energized and like excited because like when you're at like a show like i don't know if you, you can make like really good music but if it's not like if it doesn't have energy like the show is just going to be beat yeah like yeah. i've been like we've all been to so many shows where it's you know it's a it's a middle of the line indie band and it's all major seven chords and it's all yeah. mid tempo and it's all they have a little synthesizer guy and and like that's great in its own right but if every single song's like that for thirty to forty five minutes like it's I that doesn't really get me that doesn't really get the adrenaline pumping yeah, yeah. you're just kind of standing there sad the entire time yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, that's fair. As soon as that pit opens up, as soon as the, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, is there a certain feeling you want your listeners to have? No. Bro. Okay, you know that question that's, twice. That's, that's, nice. Wait, wait that's totally fine because I kind of want to go back to that. Okay. I want, okay. like, I want, like, during a show, I want it to be like a sing along feeling, but I also want it to be like a mosh pit. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, preferably, yes. if people could sing, like, while moshing. While mosh. Yes, that's the ideal ideal feeling. I think. So just okay. multitasking. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, so you've mentioned <laughs> yeah. a couple of. Uh... <laughs> so, 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 <laughs> I want to go back to the question. I want, a, I want a hardcore punk mosh pit, but with a indie pop single. I've, <laughs> I've never been to. Have you ever been to like a hardcore show? Like, I, I never have. You've no. never. No. Yeah. No. You, There's so much fun. Um, I've pro- never. I've been to. Oh, I've been to a program show. Oh, yeah, like that's the type of show I want to go to where it's just like really violent, you know? Oh. We don't really oh. operate in that space. Not mm. not violent, but like people are, yeah, people are getting pretty violent. It looks violent. I've it's, never been there. People do karate in the like pits. Karate in the pits? Yeah, hardcore shows yeah. are scary. That's horrifying. <laughs> yeah, everybody, everybody. Up in the air, it's really bad. Hardcore shows wow. could come back because everyone's six feet apart. So. <laughs> yeah. Um. So you've mentioned a couple of projects you have in the works. Is there anything you could tell us about those? A little bit more in depth. Um uh, I mean not a I mean it's a lot of like just stuff that I've been making while we've been in like quarantine because um 
you know, we, we've all been kind of separated, like, until, like, two days ago when Dylan moved back in. So we haven't really been, like, playing as a band. Or writing together. Or writing together. So it's just kind of a serious – I just kind of have, like, nine or ten tracks that I just kind of put together, like, by myself. And um, it's been, like, the first, like, big project that I've taken on, like – mixing and like mat like i'm not mastering but i've been like mixing and like sort of like producing it myself which is kind of cool to like um you know like have something where like i don't know like pretty much every like part of the process was like done like you know within like my own i don't know just like home studio yeah yeah, yeah. dave girl and the yeah. food fighters album. <laughs> exactly like the food fighters i also like <laughs> i wish I, I like want to take. I wish I could sound like a mid two thousands like radio rock. Mm. That's like a sound that I think is gonna come back in the next five to ten years. Oh. But like I just can't make things that sound that good or like overproduced. You know? Yeah. Like, we'll give an example. Give an example. I don't know. Just like anything, like Creed, Nickelback, mm. um, Foo Fighters. Foo, yeah, Foo Fight. Foo Fighters are they're a little more grunge. A little bit more grimier. Yeah. yeah, a little more grimier, but... Oh, you're talking about, like, real radio I'm talking rock, about, like, like, real radio rock. Like, mm. like I guess some people call it, like, butt rock, because there's dad rock, which is, like, just classic rock, and then mm-hmm. butt rock is, like, the... I don't even know. So, like, Nick, that... Nick, what do you know Nick, about butt Nick, rock? What do, you, what, what do you feel? How do you feel about uh, Butt rock? <laughs> I've never heard that before. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> radio, radio rock, I could say, like, Nickelback... Um, oh, I had another one that was on the tip of my tongue. New ass. Oh, oh like Life, Lifehouse, I think. Lifehouse could be one. Lifehouse rules. I mean, I mean, you kind of, I know uh, Blue October. I love Blue October. Oh, any of these bands. Right, they're so. I feel sad. like it's. It's like. You say Red Hot Chili Peppers. I want to say it's like city no. rock in a way. I don't know how to explain that, but it's just like. It's all- music I would listen to in the city for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. I just get that it's feel about of like. It. Riding around the backseat of my mom's Chrysler minivan when I was like a really yeah. little, like yeah. when it was actually on the radio. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah, a lot, yeah. A lot of radio. I, I forget. Yeah, I forget what the question was. Yeah. yeah I, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so we'll be hearing radio. you guys on every major radio station in the next five to ten years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. That'd be cool. Right. So uh, speaking I, of I the next. The cash out. Yeah. yeah okay. Sometimes <laughs> you just gotta do it. I don't know. Exactly. We're here first, folks. So. <laughs> selling out. <We're> selling out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, speaking of the next five to ten years, where do you guys see the band in the next five years? Completely sold out. <laughs> <laughs> sold out. Yeah, um, I'm thinking one day at a time over here. Yeah. We, uh, That's fair. I don't. I don't have a prediction because I don't know. I think, I, I have. One, oh, what were you gonna say, Dylan? I was gonna say I think we're all like still relatively young and we're all still in school and stuff like that. I think. I, I think it's the, the future is kind of shaky at the moment. But. Yeah, I mean, I have like, I have like a one. I have a two year plan. Mm-hmm. Um, but so I mean, like, I have like all this. Like, I'm gonna release like all the music that we have coming out like over the next year. And. I mean, like, hopefully just, like, depending on, like, how things go, like, if things are, like, open, like, in a year, and, like, if, like, things do well, and we have, like, a little more, like, leverage to, like, book better shows, like, you know, like, a tour next year, that's, like, that'd be dope. Yeah, like, I want to get, I want to get a tour, like, as soon as possible, and, um, I don't know, I mean, like, I'm kind of, like, because I, I graduated, but I'm, like, unemployed right now so i'm like not really doing anything so i'm just kind of like putting all my effort into this project right now mm-hmm. and uh you know we're just gonna see what happens all right cool. valid uh so for the last couple of questions we're going to shift away from music and go straight to death row so if you're on death row what would your last meal be with a drink don't forget the drink mm. all right i'm gonna start this one i don't care yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. this one bond oh uh, <laughs> So I, I really like fried chicken. The other night I was actually in Ewing. I had oh. some baller fried chicken. I had some mm-hmm. more today. I'd say fried chicken and like like a 64-ounce Coke. Just <laughs> All, right. All right. Wow. No <laughs> ice, Coke, sriracha sauce. Wow. Okay. Sriracha sauce Onion. in the yep. Coke? Yeah. It, okay. Well, I mean, I guess the meal kind of depends why I got locked up, too. I would have to take that into account. <laughs> but, yeah. um, it would probably be fried chicken and Coke. 
Mm-hmm. Nick was over our house the other day, and he ate like a family sized like tray of chicken. He shared with me. Yeah, Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome though. It was, really it was a me- it was a meal to share. It, yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Between probably six people, <laughs> you got like one of the largest family sizes. I, yeah. <laughs> I, had, I had I got I got half of what Nick had, and that is it was three meals for me. I'm about to eat it for dinner, and I had it for lunch yesterday. <laughs> oh <my laughs> and Nick ate, Nick ate it in one sitting, double that. All right, I'm gonna go into my meal. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do a just a fat ribeye steak. Mm-hmm. I know, you know, red meat That's terrible good. for the environment and terrible for you. But it, I, if I have one last one last bang, I'm going with a fat ribeye steak, medium rare. Give me a side of mashed potatoes. Mm. And then I'm gonna do. Nick got me on the soda train, but I'm gonna do a just a big sprite. Mm. Mm-hmm. Ice though. Ice. 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 Okay. Yeah. Important. I, I would say I'd probably get my mom's chicken parm. Mm. Chicken parm awesome. with a side of spaghetti, the nice little tomato sauce. Mm. Get some broccoli in there. Mm. Nice cold glass of seltzer. Seltzer? Damn. Yo, let's go. What, what kind of seltzer? Uh, vintage lemon lime. Okay. Oh, they can't kill you after that one. That's my favorite. <laughs> they they're going to go, yo, sick meal. You're good. <laughs> Um, I, I don't know. I think enchiladas mm-hmm. with uh, mole sauce. That's, that's my that's my thing. <laughs> right. Is the sauce your drink? Oh no no the drink. Uh, I, I'm a water boy. I love water. All right. I, I don't I don't drink soda. Poland Springs what tap water? Tell me. Uh, Poland Springs my preferred brand. I think. Okay. okay. That's, <laughs> that's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. All right. All right. What about you? What about you guys? Out of curiosity. Oh, well, you're you know nervous off the top of your head. You have an answer ready to go. Yeah, uh, yeah. big ass bowl of pasta and a sprite cranberry because um yeah. Oh, king, <laughs> king, <laughs> sprite cranberry. How could I fucking forget that? Yeah, it's, it's so good. <laughs> I still have awesome. a couple of stash in my closet from past winter. So. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Yeah. The commercial yeah. pool, so like. They have LeBron James in them, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Try a Sprite Cranberry. Uh, Dram. 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 Yeah. Dram, yeah. Yeah, that's it. And then mine's just ramen with a boba tea, I think. Yeah. Okay. Mm. That's yeah, good. That's mm-hmm. Like real ramen or like the packaged stuff? Oh, real ramen. What? Okay. She's okay. making it herself. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I, I haven't had that ramen in a good bit of time. So real ramen. Yeah. Okay. I, haven't had, I haven't had the packaged ramen in. 15 hours. Longest streak so far. Last night. Longest streak so far. All right. Um, so if you could live in one fiction world for a week, where would you live? I would live in... um. Uh, oh, Digimon. The Digimon mm-hmm. world. <laughs> How is I that? love that show, and I, I would always want to live in Digimon world. I would live in Wreck-It Ralph. Okay. Mm-hmm. I live in the Sopranos, New Jersey. That's that's not fantasy. That's not yeah. fantasy. <laughs> I live that life, buddy. Not a fictional. That's kind of cool. Okay, I'll think of oh, another no, that's, one. No, that's a good answer. All right, cool. Thank you. <laughs> that's a really, I don't know. Nick would live in Candyland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like my sweets. The trees made out of lollipops. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with Candyland. <laughs> I like okay. that. I have a little... So, <laughs> I have the honor of asking the last question, and every single person we've spoken to has said the most important question. What is your favorite color? Um, mine's uh, blue, maroon, okay. right. yellow. I've been a yellow dude forever. Yo, let's yellow. go. Yellow, I love yellow. <laughs> Thank you. The, the yellow is awesome. It is. It is. Um, I think blue is my favorite, but red is a crazy ass color. I do. Like red yeah. is the same. Yeah, we should be the Wiggles for Halloween. Thank you. I would. I don't. I haven't seen the Wiggles in a while. Uh, you know what? I'm actually. I'm gonna add this in. So I'm colorblind, and for Christmas, I got those colorblind glasses, uh-huh. and I'm red green colorblind. So I like stepped outside. <laughs> And like these red cars go by, and I can tell you right now, red is the coolest fucking thing. <laughs> red is so sick. 
Red is no red is crazy. Like no other red color awesome. compares to red. Really, <laughs> like if you're wearing a red, just a red T-shirt, you stand out so much. Like it just catches your eye. It's fucking mm-hmm. wild. Mm-hmm. Yeah, slept on color. Honestly, mm-hmm. I agree. Um, so as I said, that's all the questions we have today. Is there anything we'd like to plug? Uh, Shine Dan Butterflies is out now on all streaming platforms. We have another single coming out. Follow us on Instagram. In a month or two. Follow us on Instagram at Cheyenne Dan underscore NJ. Uh, we also have Dylan has a club soda or uh, yeah. a seltzer podcast. I do. I, do. It's, I, have a, I have a seltzer Instagram page. You can name named after a Cheyenne Dan song. It's uh, at Club Soda Man. And new reviews will be coming soon. Dylan also has uh, another project. Oh, also, I also have another band yeah, yeah, called yeah. Garage Set. Oh, no. No, 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 no it's not called oh. Garage Set. <laughs> We're called Sportcoat, and new music will be coming out on that soon. I think you can find us on sportcoat.nj. All right. On Instagram. On Instagram. Right. Instagram. Not that's a URL. Right. URL. Yeah, I was about to say. That's a... a URL. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, thank you for sitting down with us, guys. Uh, this has been Cheyenne Dan, and we're the Good Noise Podcast. <laughs>